eyes on the prize You gotta rise above the noise The warrior's way is the code to employ Be dynamic, be concrete And jing men for it's so gonna retreat And I said, see I said, so through the line You gotta move it in time And I said, see Keep a good stance right before you Now that would make a YouTube video and a half, would it not? Andrew's 18th birthday on Jing Don Fa style. And you can start out, we get a little close up, here move this. We get a close up of his belly button, you know, and couldn't figure out what that was, then back up and you have him doing his thing. Oh yeah. Find some place, like stash it somewhere. Ninjas used to hide their equipment when they needed it. You have that list of their equipment. May I borrow it? Everybody got cups on? Okay, you want to come on out here now? We touched our bags again, right? Yes, Did you sir. check them before you got back on the line? No, I didn't. I'd stand back there and you'll find out very quickly why I say that. I did not pay Matias extra for that. <laughs> I should have. I always try to subvert at least somebody on the team to mess with it. All right. Now, we found out that not everybody had canes, right? Make sure you can tell whose cane's who. Do we have marks on them? Do we have pencils on them? Is this something we learn in the military? Is it just something we learn in the military? Does this see things that are different? Barney, your attention to detail sucks, bud. I know. Some are going one way and some are going the other. Well, I'm working it. I'm getting there. But there is one pickiness that really stands out for me. What do you see that's different? Everything else looks the same, but there's one that's really different. Jonathan's car carabiner is red. No, but that is a difference. Barney, come here. You got machete on the left, long stick, little sticks, big sticks. You got two big sticks, little sticks, machete on the right. Okay, you can walk down here, and at least, could we at least have tall, medium, small, something? Okay. Something? Except for Simon. He's so well organized, he's got his sticks able, and be in the right place, he doesn't need to change. I'll accept him as the yardstick for what a bag on Refrigerator. Work. Still in plastic, I think. Maybe we'll grab, grab those, it'll be easier. Felony weapon, huh? It's a felony. Now, Barney, how many times did I tell you about felonies, Barney? Why don't you wrap it around your boot? You go take your ties around your boot and tie them in the front. It doesn't have to unbuckle them. Just go ahead and tie. Just take that and go around. <laughs> that would be good. <laughs> Do you see that? Oh, Lordy. We haven't even got to the good stuff yet. We're just getting to the line. We're just getting to the line. So what your team leader should have been doing for you. Everybody checking out everybody. Why is Mateus is tied so nicely and the others aren't? He's got double knots so his don't come out. Hmm. Good job, Mateus. Nice sneakers. You can run better than those. They're going to be hating those boots after a while. You were so smart. Tuck your laces on the boot. No, I'm talking about double tying them. He's clean to start with. What's up with that? I mean, they couldn't wash their pants? That? Can anybody vouch for his pants were clean? Okay, that's like a yes, Sensei? Yes, Sensei. I'm not sure what that is. That might be you going around with your dad. I don't know, but I like to hear yes, Sensei. Okay, now are we ready to start the test? Okay. Equipment check. I want everything taken out of your packs, laid out here properly so I can see everything is in plastic bags. Everything should be waterproofed, right? 
I need rubber knives, arnie sticks, hombo, tooth throwing knives, choke cord, training machete, 50 foot of parachute cord. Here's your list. I want to see them out there in that order. Get them out, guys. Lay them out in order. Now is the time for coffee. Yeah, he's thinking. What time is it? Do you know? Uh, no, I don't. Oh, hang on. It's getting thrown to the side of blue belt. Is the target got your eyes on the prize? You got a ride. You got at least three things right, but one looks a little different than the other one, at least folded wise. You see that? I mean, these are obviously different, can't fix that. But we do have three ponchos that could be looking just alike, right? And why? Come, okay, have him refold that. Come over here. Look at this. I have loops on them, some don't. Either we all do or we all don't. Okay. Let's get it all looking the same. You'd make everybody put cords on there. It takes you guys a long time to learn what we do in eight weeks in the army. We'll help them out. You know? Well, I'm lighting you up. And then they have to go back and learn to shoot a rifle after that. Yeah, they don't even learn how to do that or throw we a hand grenade. We don't how to do that. We just His comment was Marine Corps boot camp was easy compared to, to uh, Anjing Bonfa black belt test. <laughs> oh, this is wrong. Simon, come out here a second. There are two things seriously wrong with this picture. You have any day, uh, uh, just take a look at this. just takes away from the meticulousness of the picture. There's two things. One could argue three, but one's part of nature, the other two aren't. You see him? Yeah. Aha, there's one. A Q-tip. Q-tip swab hanging out here. Where's the second one? Uh, but this is so beautiful, right? It yeah, just takes... White piece of paper Thank you! There. Barney, you get, get that white piece of paper, Barney. We'll put them in our pocket as souvenirs. I mean, it just takes away from the beauty of this. Just gorgeous. Now, see, that's part of nature, though. That, that could handle it. I can handle that. It's the man-made stuff that takes away the beauty. Okay. Now, Sir Barney, what's left in their backpacks? I don't know, sir. <laughs> okay. Probably additional gear. You're additional. taking these guys to war, and you don't know what's in their backpack. Let's go find out what's in their backpack. Did turn them upside down and dump them out. Everything's supposed to be waterproofed. That means in plastic bags inside your item. Okay, that's why I wanted everybody to dump this out because I think there's a lot of stuff that isn't been has not been waterproofed individually or as a group. One big bag, not bad, but one point failure. I meant you get everything wet. Okay, so having bags inside of bags is a good thing. What I'd like you to do is to do an inventory, please. Get out a piece of paper and a pencil, what you brought with you got a pad. I want everybody's things itemized, what you've got, and then I want them in plastic bags, okay? And out here in front before we put it all back together. Okay, just like all that's in a plastic bag, all that stuff should be in a plastic bag too. 
You got uh, 15 minutes to get that done. Okay? Okay. Somebody is important to drag to a test above what we normally have and the fact that it's in waterproof bags individually. If you don't have enough baggies, I'd send somebody to the store to get them. You might have enough time. Yeah, I got Whose is this? Oh, that's Simon's. I got the Simon's thing to work on, Simon, on the back. Oh, the inventory list I wanted was for what was in the bags, not for out here. What I thought was important, what I thought was interesting in this test group is that uh, you brought a bunch of stuff that you didn't need that wasn't on the list. It's like when you go to war, you're going to drag a Nintendo with you and, and other stuff. And the answer is no. So general equipment, you stash it somewhere because you certainly don't want to have to run with all that stuff, right? So I, I just thought what was interesting. So we brought a blue belt syllabus. <clears throat> Excuse me, gentlemen. I don't want to compete. Thank you. Blue belt syllabus. Electrical tape's not bad. Chapstick, that's good. Trash bags, you wore sticks, jacket, boken. Jonathan McFall. You know how to spell it, McFall? C F A L L. Oh, okay. Austin's got two knives, you wore sticks, waterproof pants, jacket, sun sunscreen. He had two sunscreens? He was an optimistic thinker today. Machete sheath. Nice way to spell sheath, by the way. I'm the only one that's allowed to spell poorly. I'm an engineer. Boot knives. How many boot knives? Well, be nice to pay attention to detail and put three on your list, please. You want to check that, make sure that you got the quantity. Not one. I bought 150,000 different knives to test yeah, that's good. Three boot knives. Thank you. Blue belt syllabus. Fire starter. Tool. What kind of tool? It's a little red tool, sir, like a screwdriver. A utility tool? Ah! Okay. Hey, he's the only one that has a cell phone in here. You don't have a cell phone? No cell phones? Yes, no? In my pocket, I forgot. Oh, darn. Anybody else got cell phones? I do. Where is it? In my pocket. Oh, well, I didn't ask you to empty your pockets. God darn it. All right. Interesting list, to say the least. Now, everything has been put in the bags, right? Now we're waterproof, okay? That's the way that we organize, easy to grab, throw at the people. You know, you see what I'm saying? Okay, so I think it's really important. Um, we still don't have that sword thing fixed right, do we? Um, for Grant Sensei, that would be two slices of ham and a boot band. Okay. Two bladders, hot water, tape, you're in there. Okay, uh, let's repack it now. You have five minutes to repack it. What's the time? Who has a watch? Give me a time. Okay, it's 10.05. We're back toes on the line appropriately with our equipment and ready to go. That's a team approach though, see? You know, and that's the funny thing, because martial arts is all about an individual. It's an individual sport. Yet, if you don't have a team, you won't have a school. If you don't have a school, you don't have an art. You know, and it's, it's really important. Wow, and look at that. They actually got their shit lined up. 
Okay, Time. Minutes. One minute to go. What's double check everything you double check everything? You're the team leader. You double check it. You make sure all the handles are the right way. Sticks are in the right place. All orderly. You ever see parachutists? They all stand up on the airplane. Each one checks their packs. The other person's pack. Come here, Barney. Yes, sir. What's wrong with those backpacks? Everybody else look forward, please. Look forward, guys. Simon, turn around and look forward, please. What's wrong with the backpacks? How come they're not evenly spaced? All right, Simon. Why, uh, why do we pay such attention to detail? Because out, out in the real world, uh, you need to pay attention to detail because of um, anything you miss might get you killed. More importantly, when you start to be a sensei and you teach people, right? Yes, sir. Your students rely on you to um, teach them the right way, right? Yes, sir. And so they don't, you don't get their silly ass killed, huh? Yes, sir. You know what it would be like to have to live with the fact that you didn't teach somebody properly and they got killed, right? Yes. That's not a good thing. Right, Barney? Correct, sir. Did you think about checking all their knives? Are you ready? All right, come on out here. Look at Austin. First off, do you see where his zipper is? you see where his belt is? Okay, I, we're not done yet. Look at his upper left-hand shoulder. Fuzz. Clean him up. Now, nah, we're not done with him. What else is wrong with this boy? He's a white boy. He got paint on him. He didn't take a shower last night. He comes, he comes, he's getting paint, paint, paint on him. Hmm, we're going to have to take that off. We'll get that in a minute. What the hell's that on his penis? It's a hole. Oh, you know what? These must be borrowed pants, aren't they? Didn't, they, didn't you get that hole? I think I gave you that hole. I gave you that hole a couple of weeks ago with a defender. He's wearing your clothes. The boy doesn't have any clothes of his own. Huh? Are those your pants? Uh-huh. Guys don't even have their own pants. All right, let's take a look at Mateus. Let me see your belt buckle. Now, 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 I love this. You know, he's got, he's got hmm, finger and some hanging out the side. And, how yeah, borrow you? You know, he's got thumb finger hanging out the side and I can I can attest to the fact I think it's in there somewhere you know oh yeah liking it okay we'll fix that stuff later but you kind of see that we just gotta get attention to detail it escapes us all the time anything else wrong with us see we got through Mateus and and uh, and uh, my buddy Simon. It's hard to beat Simon, you know. Simon's kind of like one of those, like Sensei's favorite guy, you know. I just love this kid. He's looking pretty sharp, actually. Simon, you should have been the team leader. They call you a slob, but you look pretty good. Okay, now, go ahead and get back in line. You guys did your little construction project, and you blew that, too. You really didn't pay attention to detail there. I, I, I had five things, and I don't know, did Sin, Kirsten say, did you come up with more? I found five things wrong back there. I find between the things that were left out, I count five. I have five things, okay? But Barney's going to take care of those while his team suffers because of that. You guys can actually put your jackets back on in a minute and, you know, get prepared. You guys are going to get to go to save on by running. Boots that go on the bottom of a cane. And then you're going to run your ass back up here the normal way here. Now, you're going to do it in two teams. Don't want you to look military. Don't want people to try to understand that there's a military test up here. So... I'm going to put uh, 
you two guys together and you two guys together. You're the adult for Austin, okay? Simon, you're the adult for the kid that can't doesn't know what year it is, okay? Right? Can't spell his name, doesn't have his own clothes, doesn't have his own boots. I didn't check your mother's underwear. Do you have your own mother's underwear on too, or you kind of stop at that, like thongs or something? So let's move our team and put their backpacks in the back where we would normally have them along the... Um, when you go out, you're going to be very muddy. When you come back, I want all the mud off your boots. Okay, that's why you're gonna come back the roadway. What time is it now? So you have one hour. That's more than enough time to get down there, find what you're after, and get back. It's gonna be important that the teams leave in five minute increments so that you don't see a whole group of people. Let's see, I was gonna have Greg Sensei, but he's behind the camera. Aaron Sensei, would you uh, take this path here and kind of run halfway up and halfway back down for me? This path right here, Sensei? Uh-huh. And then, that's good, come on back down. Miss Wasserman, would you run up this thing for me? Just halfway to this branch and back. He's not getting what I want. I think an unskilled individual will. Oh, perfect. Come on back down. Thank you. You've been too well trained, I'm afraid. <laughs> Barney, come here. What's wrong with that picture, Barney? You did just what I wanted you to do. What's wrong with that picture? What attention to detail is what's different? The path stops right up there. So where the... Do you see where Miss Wasserman stepped each one of those? Mm -hmm. That tells somebody's been up there, huh? Yes. Sir. We can't have that. Make sure your team knows to get up this hill and on the other side and on that road with no telltale signs. Okay? That's their job. On the way back, it's easy. Okay? Except for the muddy footprints. <coughs> okay? They go in the store, they can't look muddy either, right? Brief your team what you want them to do. Okay. Okay? Gentlemen. To never leave trails of where they've been. You always see pictures of footprints in the sand. That would never be us. So when you climb this hill and you get on the dirt side on the other side, I want you all to look back. Can anybody trace you back to here? Does anybody know which way you went? Try your best to cover up your foot tracks. Look where you're going to step. Stepping on vegetation is a good thing. Stepping out in the mud is not. You want to go up as light as you can. You don't want to mess with it. You don't want a bunch of mashed down vegetation either. So that's your skill set. You've got to learn to get through and that's going to be tough. It's not going to be the easiest thing in the world. I'm going to send people up and on that road and see if they can see where you've been. It belongs and your team get out of here. You need to get back here with those six items that go on the bottom of our six canes. Six for each team or six, nope, six, six total? total. Okay. So three and three. Three and three. Five minutes apart. Now, there were five things that were um, pretty obvious to me about the paint job, about the job, construction proj project. Yes, Sensei. The first one, come here, it was over here. When you left last night, your bag of cement still over there. That's been there for two days now. I left overnight. Okay. I don't drink that. I don't know that I would do that at your house. Well, let's look out here. They moved my chair. Never bothered to put it back. Sit in that chair at night. Although, again, it was kind of rainy and stuff. But they didn't once. Like the steps in the sand. We should never know we've been there. One of the biggest things about martial arts is you almost should never know you've been someplace. Not that we can fix that at the moment, but it um, would be kind of interesting to bring your team back here. You can bring your team back and say, what kind of shit is this? Because you've got your... Yep. Hmm? Yep. There's trash. There's everything. Hambo, throwing axe to rub a 
Okay. All right, gentlemen, we're on deck. Um, anybody else got a cane, by the way? Anybody else? Nope. All right. And Simon's going to cut it. So we will need to get a sharp, uh, a marker of some type, a pen, pencil, something. When you, mm, the, um, when you need to utilize a cane, you want your arm to, to be completely straight when you flex. So you see this is probably what? Two, three inches too short? Two inches maybe? Okay. Plus the boot. So what we're going to do is for each individual person, yours is almost, almost there. But you want to hard ground, arm straight. This is where the handle ought to be for me is about there. Okay. So Simon, do you have any suggestions how we might mark these and we'll cut them? Okay, let's do that. Let's get out our pens and um, let's mark these things. We'll get them cut and get our boots put on. Because we're going to utilize this as a tool today. We're going to have a cane class. New meaning, would it not? It would. Okay. Well, Simon came up with the idea. I think Jonathan should get down on his knees down here and be marked. What do you think, Simon? Sure, sir. Yes, sir. sir. All right. So you think that's about right for mine? Maybe a little bit more. Like that. Mark that. Mm -hmm. Simon, he has to get down, not you. Here, go cut that, put a boot on it. Let's see. Ah, darn! That's that attention to detail thing. Not all the canes are the same thickness. Gosh darn it. All right, hobble your team back there and show them what they did wrong. to happen. I don't know what has to happen either. Come out and tell me what we got to do to fix it. Okay? You can hang your canes on the on the fence. Easy to do. Okay? Take them in, Barney. Sensei, could I take the team leader in and have him explain it? Sure. Go ahead and do that. I thought you might get them all in there. What I want is all of them in there, but I only want to be talking to the team leader. And the team leader will all right, Andrew, well, we'll go over here. We'll have a little impromptu class. How about the three of you? Can we have somebody else? Yes, it can certainly most be a wicked hombo. What's different about this is you've got this end is kind of hooked, so you, you can come in easily and just take people down from a choke, even. You can just come in and take them down. How's that? that even nice? better. Yes, even better. Much, much better than new. So why don't we try that? We're going to come, actually, we'll just stand there, come come and grab here. You're going to come in and put the cane, like so. Have you done this? Yes, I'm sorry. Palm up. OK. Yeah, bring your elbow over across, tighten it. There you go. Like that. Yeah. So when you're up here, you have this on the side of your neck. 
see my elbows out here, I can't mm -hmm. put any pressure. No matter how much I do this, I'm not necessarily putting pressure. But if I bring my elbow down as mm -hmm. if I'm doing one of our Wing Chun punches, and then bring this yeah. over, how does that feel? That's good. Okay. So the important thing is, is and we, we all remember our punches, right? Boom. Have we done Wing Chun punching yet? Mm -mm. No. Okay. And our, our fists are up, our hands are up. It's kind of how we want to grab it. Let's try that. Let's try that. Go ahead and, and grab her like a lapel grab. There you go. And you want to bring this straight across your body, pinching his neck. Okay, yeah. now check this out. We want this to be as normal and as comfortable as possible for you. So if you're having to contort your body in order to do this technique, maybe not necessarily the right way of doing it. So instead of coming to him, bring him to you. Here's what I mean. I'm gonna get down a little bit lower so maybe at your stature. So we can bring this up. Now, if he's a really tall guy, how do you think we could bring this up to bring him down here? Like this, or maybe like that, okay? So from here, I wanna grab and I wanna pull in. See how I'm all extended out? Mm -hmm. I can't do much out there. I'm gonna pull in, so now he's in tight to me. And now he's coming down to my level. Mm -hmm. If I'm down here, he's still coming down to my level. I'm bringing this elbow across and touching this part of the stick to my elbow. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. So whenever you're doing kind of any technique, try and make it to where you're not compromising your own balance. Okay. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Bring it in tight to you, close. There you go, now bring this across your body. Like that. Yeah? What do you think? It, it was working. Okay. And remember, this. I'm gonna bring the cane to our elbow. Maybe, Tighten I'm kind of getting the cane kind of too much <clears throat> on the back of my neck instead of the side. The side hurts more. And what's on the side of his neck that would cause it to hurt more, you think? Right, carotid artery fall. Yeah, and what comes with an artery? Blood. A vein and a nerve. Yeah. So oh. you have the vagus nerve, and you have the carotid artery, and you have the jugular vein. So those are all the three things that we're attacking with our neck. Okay. Let's try that. While you are the team leader, you do have an individual on your team who already has rank. And our, as is our standard, the rank goes from highest to lowest. So you need to have the person with his highest rank on this end. Yes, Carrie said so. Okay, this was an interesting test for you guys. Um, this was one of the more elaborate white belt tests we've had, but this is the first uh, colored belt test that we've had outside of the 
uh, commercial school. We are going to be focusing, as you can tell, on getting you more prepared, moving forward, being more responsible. Uh, some of the things you experienced or learned on this test. Number one, early on, you were receiving some good instructions for several weeks. And uh, you learned at the last minute that not all of you were tracking them or following up on them, even on the project. So you had to come together very quickly and make it happen. So the negative is, yeah, you didn't track it. You'd lost track of what was needed. The good part is you guys really pulled together and made it happen. There was some sloppiness in it, but again, you are white belts, and we are looking for you to learn, evolve, and have more attention to detail. You had a project. You had to run down to um, the local drugstore and get tips for the canes. Why? Jonathan. So, yes. Uh, as a matter of fact, when I be closer so you can be heard, you probably couldn't hear that. Jonathan, why, why were we getting tips for the canes? So, for instance, if we brought on the airplane, you'd be allowed to bring it on because it was for medical reasons. Okay. It, it doesn't do us any good to have any type of weapons if we can't carry the weapons with us. So this should get you thinking about what can I do with the weaponry that I have in order to have it, avail have it available when I need it. So this was a good exercise for you with canes, and canes are obviously something that you can have reason to carry. Teamwork, what do you experience teamwork-wise? That uh, if there's a weak link in the team, that the team falls apart. We have to work together to, for the success of the whole team. The leader has to overlook the details so the team will be successful. The team has to overlook the details so the leader will be successful as well. We work together because we live and we die together. Okay. Uh, excellent. I do want to point out that we did have the... Um, emergency repair on the plumbing that came up that was unplanned we were really impressed with the way you guys pulled together all of a sudden and got that done you got it done quickly effectively efficiently and we're very proud of the way you pulled together um, it was actually kind of a crowning achievement after some of the frustration you guys were seeing on uh, the early on project of the fence work we did have some discussions this morning about the fact that some materials were left out uh, after you did the, te the um, project. A project is never done until it's all cleaned up and all the tools are put away. So that said, uh, overall, I think it was a pretty good uh, mix of learning for you guys, how to get your gear together, how to have your gear ready to go. Um, and with that, we're going to do some promotions. First off, uh, can I toss this to you? Austin, let's, let's come out here. We'll stay in close here so we're not in the mud. Austin? Now, Austin, uh, you're a very unusual situation and that you already have some rank with us. Uh, what we are doing, you've already been designated as the leader for the black belt test that's coming up in March. Uh, we've never done anything of that nature before. This test was meant to be more of a practice run for you to get you acclimated to thinking in the team, uh, getting the gear ready at a level that you're going to have to really accelerate. It gave an opportunity to observe the team dynamics, observe a leader, and uh, what he had to do in order to get the projects done. So this was meant to be more of a learning uh, experience for you than an actual rank experience. However, we are um, presenting you with our new um, uh, second degree blue indicators. Uh, we will in the future be having full belts in our kits just like we will have traditional geese in our kits for when we visit other schools. But when we are training here in our combat style gear we want to have rank recognition. These particular pieces you will wear on your on your web belt itself. Okay, So you just you can just flip that over you put the uh, one side down, perfect, other side over, tuck it in there, and it will lock itself right in place. There you go. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Sensei. Back. Right. Barney, you step forward. You were the team leader. This is uh, your first experience being one of our team leaders. It was obviously uh, challenging. Uh, it is important... One of the things we talk about, it's important, it's important for everybody to experience the role of a leader that makes them better followers. And it's also important for 
natural leaders to play the role of follower so they understand those dynamics much better. You stepped up, you led the group, you had some frustrations along the way, but you accepted all the responsibility and accountability. Uh, we are proud to promote you to the rank of second blue also. And again, just as you cannot see it when he was doing it, you're going to be wearing these on your belt right here. Okay, you go ahead and put that on. You came in, you, you uh, took a lot of discussions along the way. We were very critical of you, pushed you hard, and you kept going through. You kept your smile about you most of the time. I understand then there was one time when you, you started to kind of break down and act more human than you normally do and, and showed some uh, frustration. And uh, it's, it's good to see you go through that, work through that, and recover. And I think you became a strong, valuable member of this team all the way through. Okay? And we will also be promoting you to second blue at this point. Okay? You can go ahead and put that on. Unwrap it. There you go. Then it'll just, and you want it over here so it shows. Okay? Slip it right in there. Once you work with it and look at it, it'll be real obvious how easy it goes on. Good job. Thank you, Jonathan. Medicine, sir. Mm -hmm. So you're the one we made drink beer today because uh, you stepped up and really coordinated the project, getting uh, our emergency repairs cleaned up. We really appreciated your expertise and the way you took ownership of it. Uh, you're also on, on track the whole time with our training, and we're very proud to have you here with us. And so we will also be promoting you to Second Blue. And we'll see if you can figure out how that goes on. Oh, you made that look easy. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Simon? So. Simon, you were here for all the uh, work sessions that I saw. Uh, so you adjusted your schedule, made the program work. And you stepped up with the concrete work and uh, got the fence on track and uh, did the grunt kind of work of running back and forth getting supplies and uh, did a real good cleanup job out here and you've been a real strong player all the way through here so we're very proud to have you on board with us and you too will be promoted to second blue at this point so here's your okay. rank okay and you should wear those every every week when you're training with us and we will all end up with rank indicators like that okay Simon? thank you very um, much with the other sense i like to